あ歌うことは難しいこと Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So, why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view? Now, my next reaction, we're going to go over to the first take. And this particular artist, and I hope I'm going to pronounce his name right. If I'm pronouncing his name wrong, then please、um, uh, break it down for me in syllables so I can get it right. So,、uh, is it Kazu Yoshi、um, Satyo? And the song is、um, Yu Tatai. Is it Yu, Yu Tatuai? Is that how you pronounce it?、Um, no ballad.、Um, Is there any information regarding、uh, any write ups on there? Let's see.、Um, episode 227 welcomes Taz, uh, 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 Kaz Yoshi、uh, Sato, the singer who continues to attract many music fans with his melodies and voice that are forever vivid.、Uh, take, uh, take performance of、um, Yu Tachiai, No Ballad.、Um, it was a first release in 1997. Um, reviving in smooth voice along with the melodies of songs, guitar, acoustic guitars only on the first take. I'm going to leave all these details down below in my description page for you to look at,、um, check out the original. Go, actually, go to the first take and check out the original.、Um, that's really, really important. As well as any of these social media platforms where, I mean, if you like what, he, what he's about, then you know, by all means follow him. I'm sure he does、um, a number of concerts at various places. Um, look, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. Now, without further ado, you know what we're here for great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Okay. That's the first time I've seen this. The artist actually playing their instruments while they're singing. It's normally they have their musicians around them and they, that gives them space to do、um, anything they want to do on the mic. So, this is my first time. Sounds kind of folky, doesn't it? Bob Dylan. Tada, Koe, Ni, Mi, O, Maka, Se, Atama, No, Naka, O, Kara, Po, Ni, Sur, Da, Ke, Ah, Me, O, To, Ji, Le, Ba. 胸の中に映る懐かしい思い出やあなたとの毎日本当のことは Not a lot of artists do that. Can have that. 歌の中にあるいつもなら照れくさくて言えないことも今日だってあなたを思いながら歌うたいは歌うよずっと言えなかった
He's got this kind of rusty but not rusky. It's on the borderline of being rusky, but he comes and smooths it out. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. <laughs> wow. So that was um, Kajio Shoshi. Is it Kajioshi? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, Setio. Uh, with all to. I don't know how to do the. How do you pronounce the U? Or, or is it um, to, to T? All to a T. No ballad. I, you know what? I need help. I need help on this one. Apologies. Well, that's just, just on the, the right pronunciations. This particular artist. Wow. I've got to find out more about it. Because he gave me so many kind of lovely textures that I recognise or associated with uh, the Western artists. Um, the likes of... He gave me the slowness and the definition of like of Bob Millen. Then he gave me the kind of raspiness of, of the young Rod Stewart. Not the Rod Stewart of today, but the young Rod Stewart. And then he gave me different kind of... His penmanship is quite lovely as well. It's very subtle, not that potent, not that in your face, but gives you something to think about. And then the way... How, the, 
the the folkiness of the way how he's playing the uh, the guitar. Yes, it was a ballad, but was it a ba a folk ballad song? I be truly believe, and I said it already in um in in the middle of the reactions that I believe that when he comes onto stage or wherever he's playing in the venue, the audience are so quiet when they listen to him. He's just got that textural vocal and the persona, the presence of when he's on the stage. There's not going to be much talking around or anybody talking over while he's singing. You know, sometimes when you go to a bar and you get an artist playing the, the, the guitar or they're playing whatever instrument. And then you, you always hear someone in the crowd talking, someone in the crowd whistling, someone in the crowd making some kind of noise. But I believe that when he's playing, you can actually hear a pin drop. I seriously do believe that. There's a certain quality to this guy. There really, really is. I know this song was done in it said in the nineteen was it nineteen uh, ninety seven or something like that. But has he got a more recent song where I can check out um, and follow? In uh, this is something that I would like to follow. I really, is. even though yes, I have to put on the subtitles every time when I hear him. But even when you don't put on the subtitles and listen to him, he still gives you that kind of that warmth. That sense of security within his vocals. The sense of believing what he's actually saying. The message that he's trying to deliver. The heartache, the pain that he is feeling. And that is an artist that you need to follow when they can make a believe in the lyrical contents of what they're saying. I really do believe him. There are so many false artists out there. But you have, but throughout these false artists, there are true gems as well. And um, he is one of them. And for that reason, I salute you. Amazing. I still